hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you how to make a juicy lamb burger so what I have here in this bowl is one pound of lamb mincemeat I'm gonna put some garlic powder I have some adobo all-purpose seasoning I'm gonna add some of that and then lastly I'm gonna add some blended up culantro I have my oven preheating at 350 I'm gonna mix it up with a glove guys I'm gonna put a glove on and I'm gonna really get in that meat and really mix it up and make sure it all gets flavored so I went ahead and I mixed everything so now I'm gonna take my wooden spoon and I'm gonna grab some my oven is ready so I'm gonna place it in my baking dish and I'm just gonna pat it down so this is one pound of lamb guys I'm probably gonna get about four burgers like I said I'll get about four juicy burgers so now I'm gonna cover it and put it in the oven while my burgers in the oven I already washed my cucumber tomato kale and I'm gonna cut up some onion slices and get this ready for the burger Okay, so I'm finished cutting up my cucumbers, avocados, onion slices, kale, and tomatoes. And now I'm going to show you how I make my Parmesan chip. It goes so good on this burger. All you do is you get a baking tray and you could use any grated Parmesan cheese that you have. So I took a spoon of the grated parm and I'm just gonna place it on baking sheet and I'm gonna press it I'm not adding anything so I'm gonna do this like six times so for it to cook nice and crispy just keep patting it till it flattens but make sure it's all still joined so this is what it should look like before it goes in the oven Hey guys, so it's 20 minutes later. I took my lamb burger out of the oven. Very hot. So now I'm gonna add everything on my burger. Last but not least, I'm adding my Parmesan chip. Oh, it's still hot. If you leave it to cool off a little bit, it won't break. But I have to eat, I'm so hungry. Add ketchup, add mustard, add whatever you like, guys. Even the mincemeat, you could use beef, you could use turkey, whatever you want. It's so flavorful, so easy. So I made this dish in less than half an hour. Enjoy.